Check out thechosenprime.com in the link in the description below for this and other great items. All right, welcome everyone to another Radio Free Cybertron review. I'm your host, Diecast, and today we have Hammer Sharpener from Collection Warbitron, or Warbitron Collection, or WB03-C. Now this is wb 0 uh, WB03-C. It's a mouthful every time. Um, but this was actually the second figure released. The third figure was WB03-B, which was Speed Wheel. So today we're looking at Hammer Sharpener. Same box that you've come to expect from this series of the Warbitron figures. Uh, you have some line art for Hammer Sharpener and some art at the top of the box, which again looks really nice. Uh, they do a good job with their artwork, and Hammer Sharpener would be inside through the see-through window, the pull-out tab where you can slide out the box on the back of the box. And again, you have the nice Computron line art. And that's it for the packaging. Next we'll go over what comes inside the packaging. You get the same instruction booklet, hammer sharpener, Warbitron, the gold foil, and it goes from robot to vehicle mode and also includes the foot instructions even though we don't have the actual foot piece. So, and there is the Card, collector's card, skill is 4 out of 5 stars, strength is 5 out of 5 stars, and intelligence is 3 out of 5 stars. Nice artwork on the front of the card. Really liking, really liking the art on this. Really nice. So, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. And let's take a look at the figure. So here you have... Hammer Sharpener, and as I said in the Speed Wheel review, so far he is my least favorite of the group. Um, his light piping, I always say how Warbitron does a really nice job with the light piping, and his is just not that great. It's an orange slash red, and the face sculpt also is not my favorite. There is some silver bits up in here. Uh, but I think this gold chin strap is kind of what really throws it off from the other characters. And then if you, you know, angle this up, it totally blocks any light from being able to go into his eyes for the light piping. So I don't know if you want to leave that, you know, facing backwards. It does give him a pretty protruding backpack, but then his eyes will light up a little bit more than if you go with the standard pose of the hammer sharpener part or the drill part over his head. Articulation is pretty nice on this figure. Uh, he can go up about that much on the arm. He has a ratchet. He can do a full 360. He has a double jointed elbow so you can get more than 90 degrees out of it which is really nice. Um, Again, paintwork on this guy is nice. Treads, he has some really nice detail. It's like a two-tone paint. Um, same thing on this side. The hands do rotate. The fingers are all on one peg. But so are the other Warbitron figures, so you can't really hold that against him. He does have a waist swivel, which tends to stick a little bit and then a universal joint at the leg which is very tight universal joint very very tight go back about that far his knee can bend almost 90 degrees not quite and then his foot is on a joint so you get some ankle tilt the toe will go up and down and so will the heel that's as far down as it'll go. It'll go up, but due to transformation. Really, 
it's not a bad figure. It's just not my favorite out of the group. Uh, it feels like the intern was designing this compared to the other guys. Um, hammer is nice. You have a bunch of weapons. You have the hammer, the two guns, and also you have some knives that slide in on the side here on these extra pieces. They do peg on, so if you want, you don't want his legs to look as bulky as they are, you can unplug the whole piece if you want. If not, they can just stay there. They stay in the same place for robot and vehicle mode. So let's go ahead and get this guy transformed. First thing you want to do is you're going to open up the head. I like to pull on the head just a little bit. It gives me enough gap to get in there with my finger to pull that chest piece down and put the head in. Just like that. Get these guns out of the way. Then you're going to come up to the arms. This is the other thing I do. These treads can go all the way out like this. Um, but in robot mode, I just kind of leave them like that. They're kind of less obtrusive that way. So, first thing you want to do is there's going to be a panel right here that you lift up. Then you're going to slide that arm all the way in and then close that up. And then you want to collapse the, the arm, which is not the easiest thing to do. Um, but if you rock the arm, it'll collapse just like that. And then uh, before I close that up, just to let you know, there is a screw right here at the bottom. My arm was really loose at the top where it, where the other double jointed hinge is right here. So I tightened up those bottom screws on both sides and that helped with that looseness. It's the first time I've ever had a Warbitron figure where I actually had to tighten a screw as opposed to loosen a screw. So that's, uh, that's definitely new for them. So do the same thing on this side, pop that panel up, slide that arm in, it'll collapse in. That time was much easier than the first couple times I had to do it. And then this panel flips out on the front and it uh, covers up the hole where the front of the hand is. Now we're going to rotate these up. Come down here, pop these off the top hinge, and then rotate them down. They'll lock in on the side of the body, right there. And the next thing you want to do is we're going to pull off this backpack piece. It's going to rotate down, and then you kind of pull this apart. And these tabs right here, these brown tabs, will slot in to that piece. Just like that. You can bring this piece forward, just sit it in there. Now we'll come down to the bottom of the tank. This is something that's not in the instructions. These pieces will unhinge and go on the back of the leg, or you can have them on the side of the leg. Uh, just like so. It just really depends on how you want the back of your legs to look. I just like the extra piece of transformation because if not, it, it is a little simple uh, on the back. But these are very Combiner Wars-esque where you're just going to pop off these back panels just like so, and then you're going to pull the leg up and down. Same thing on this side. And now you can close those panels back up. Tab the legs together.
make sure everything's lined up. This one side did not close up the way it should have. There we go. Tab that in. These feet just flip down, just like that. And we're gonna rotate the waist. And we're gonna flip the waist piece. And that's just gonna line up the, the tank. And you can pull these little missile pods up in the front. We're gonna tab these guns on to the back right there and then come down here take the hammer you're just gonna pull this front piece off fold in the handle and we can split the front of the tank the front of the nose cone Just like so. And we're going to slide this in and connect it with that piece, the tip, and close that back up. And then, if you want to, there's a little tab or a little slot right there that'll tab in right there. And there you have a uh, nose cone in his in his vehicle mode, and it's uh, yeah, it's it, it's okay. It's not what I thought, but you know, it's not a bad vehicle mode, I guess. Now to go to his uh, leg mode for Computron, it's pretty easy. Just gonna take the guns off. These feet will spin around to the front. Just like that. And we're gonna take the waist just like that. Then we're gonna bring his nose piece back to the back, which will plug in just like before. Just like he's going into robot mode. And these guns can pose back or can plug right back in on the back of the leg and there you have uh, there you have him in his in his foot mode or leg mode and that's uh, that's how the legs gonna look for uh, computron these you can angle however you want and uh, that's all we have uh, thanks for tuning in make sure you sus subscribe to us and uh, follow us on Twitter, YouTube, all the all the main places. We'll see you next time.